Okay, I'm going to try something a little bit different here today, guys. I am going to basically show you guys how to pillow a puzzle in SolidWorks. Uh, I know when I was first trying to figure out how to do this, I had a lot of difficulty uh, figuring it out. Um, there's not really all that many tutorials on how to do this. Uh, I, you know, a lot of people uh, tried to explain it through the forums, but uh, it just didn't really work for me. So I'm going to try and actually show you guys hands-on how to do this. And I don't have my uh, features bar up here, but um, I'll just tell you guys what you need to do if we need to use that, which we will later on. Uh, first thing you're going to do is you're going to you know, go ahead and make your, uh, we're going to just do a 57 millimeter uh, Rubik's Cube. So we're just drawing our sketch. Okay, now that you have your cube, uh, you need to make a plane that cuts this diagonally in half. And you're just going to select those three there, and you have your plane. And you also need your axes that you're going to do your revolves around, which we'll get into more in just a minute. Okay, now I have two axes, which is really all that I need for now. Um, I'll go ahead and do the third, just because. Now you're going to want to draw on your plane here. And you're going to say we just want this just barely pillowed at all. Let's, let's just pillow it. See how that far is? About oh, three millimeters. So you're just going to take this down a random number there. And you're going to draw a circle from the center. And this may or may not cut into your corner there. You do not want it to cut into your corner because it will mess up your uh, your pillowing. So just like that's fine. Now you want to trim away half of this circle here. And you're going to do a revolved boss base around this axis. And you do not want to merge result. Make sure that that box is not checked. You want it one direction, 360 degrees, and you're all good. Okay, now there's the first part. Now what you need to do is, I'm going to hide this plane. And you're going to circular pattern. And you cannot use features, you have to use bodies. It's the only way to use a surface body. And you're going to select that and axis four. Four times, 360 degrees with equal spacing. Now you have four of those balls there. Now you're going to circular pattern again. Once again, you need to check uh, bodies pattern, and you're going to select revolve two again. And we'll go with axis uh, six. I think it is. It's not showing my not six, and I did not click it today. Axis six. So we go. You're going to end up with something that looks about like this. It's just uh, six of the spheres uh, interconnected into a simulated octahedral shape, basically. And now you're going to go to your features bar here, which you cannot see in this video. And you're going to go to Insert, Features, Combine. And you're going to select all of these spheres. You want to select Common. And then OK. And you're going to hide your circular pattern there. And sure enough, you now have a pillowed puzzle. Really slightly pillowed. Next thing you got to do is you just have to uh, draw your 3x3. Three three. This is basically the end of the um, video for pillowing puzzles. If that's all you want to find out, OK. Uh, if you're interested in how do you make a simple puzzle, uh, keep watching. Um, we're just going to do a regular normal 3x3 three three with normal mechanism. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, so you're going to be wanting to draw on the front plane here. And that puts it right in the middle of the Rubik's Cube. And let's see, this is about 57 millimeters, so we're just going to go 19 over from. Uh, Oops, uh, 
on the left, left corner there. That's 19 millimeters. So I can cut down from there. Um, so, uh, 10 millimeters. And then over 5. And that will give us 4.71 as a um, center uh, piece where you're going to put your screws in. Uh, that's sufficient for a normal screw. And you're just going to extend this out. And now you need to go back into your features bar to insert surface revolve. And we're just going to click this axis here, 306 degrees, one direction. Um, you can do your select contours and select this sketch. Uh, you don't always have to do that, but you only want like one. If you have two lines drawn, you can just select the one. And we're going to click OK. And you can see we have a line cutting our puzzle there. So next thing we need to do is we need to go and use our handy dandy circular pattern again. And we're going to use body select again. Body pattern. And we're going to select this axis here. Four times equal spacing, 360 degrees. And now we have one side of the uh, wall. We have a three by three by one basically. So we need a circular pattern one more time. And you're going to click bodies to pattern. And it doesn't matter which one of these you click. And then you're going to hit this axis here four times, 360 degrees, equal spacing, click. Now you have your cuts basically for that what you need. I'm going to go ahead and hide at this point my axes. And now you're going back into your features bar again. Insert, features, split. I'm going to select all of these, cut part. And you can either go ahead and select these parts right here, or you can go through your resulting bodies and just go ahead and check mark all of these boxes here. Um, this is going to save, uh, cut all of the parts for an entire uh, 3x3. Uh, if you just want the master parts, you can just go ahead and click you know, one of each. Direct. If you click too fast, it doesn't like it. I've never had much luck with the auto assign names. I do believe that SolidWorks need to put a function in where you can click select all and be done with it. Some of the larger puzzles where there's a lot of pieces definitely takes a lot of time to select all the parts you need. Uh, especially with uh, layered mechanisms with hidden parts. Really, really is a hassle. Uh, now you can just select all of your uh, surface bodies and hide those. And now you have a pillowed 3x3 puzzle. And you can isolate parts and now all you have to do is do your basic cleanup on these parts and you can isolate a corner and there's your corner and you can even isolate your centerpiece here woohoo now you have a basic 3x3 three three. and I'm gonna go back a couple steps here and guys and show you the basics of uh, modification and we're gonna do an axis cube so I'm going to get rid of my split my surface bodies are still here but they are not active they're just hidden and I'm going to insert an axis from this corner there to that corner there and now I have an axis from the two points of uh, this puzzle and I'm going to do an insert, face, face, move. And I'm going to select all of these faces. And instead of offset, I'm going to do rotate. And I'm going to choose that axis, which it's already set on. And if you don't know, an axis uh, cube, X cube is on a 60 degree rotation. 
That's not right. Actually, seven. Sixty degrees. See what it's going to do there. You're basically making a uh, hexagonal die pyramid, and then you're already building up the sides using this. We'll click OK. And yes, my cube is still in there. We're just going to hide that. Um, that's a, another later problem. Even after you have your pillow puzzle, your original sketch is going to still be there, which you can just go ahead and later on uh, delete that, and that'll leave you with just your pillow puzzle, which is what we have here. Now I'm just going to. Uh, this is the time bar, by the way. You can bring this back to whatever you want it, and it'll uh, undo everything basically. And then you can just bring it back to take it back. And now uh, we're we have our split again, and sure enough, we have our um, actual cube in there too. We'll just hide that a little bit real quick. And now you have an axis cube. There's the basics for a simple modification. Actually, it looks really cool pillowed. I hope this uh, helps you guys out a lot. Anyways, um, uh, we're I'm not gonna get into complex puzzle designs. Uh, it really you just gotta play around with it for a while, and you'll get the hang of it. So I wish you all luck. Thanks for watching.